Uh, we're heading out. No more Milan, <laughs> even though we were in this room for one Look night. Look at that. The, the other hotel was a disaster. Look at this. We even have this receiving area. And this really nice bathroom. What is happening? We are in Milan. <laughs> we're about to leave this really nice hotel room and we're flying to Paris. Let's go. According to what I read about the cathedral, it took them nearly six centuries to build and it's one of the oldest in Europe. So that was so pretty. And then we ended up checking out the canals, which they built originally to, to <coughs> move out um, stuff that they sell, stuff like marble and you know, I don't know what else they used to sell. Uh, what else did we do? We just had a lot of Italian food, which was great. We had striatella, which is a, uh -huh. a kind of bread. Uh, so it allowed, it, it, it was, it's a, it's, it's a little bit like a pita. And then we had a few drinks. Afterwards. Afterwards. I feel like we should have stuck with wine. <laughs> yeah. We had shots at some point. One shot. I mean, technically two shots. House right? rum. Like the rum and cheese. House rum with a juice cheese. It was disgusting. It was still fun though. It was still fun. Oh, we had we had Italian McDonald's. We, do we even have photos of that? I I might not. But I, I, I did not take photos. Yeah, I did not. I don't know yeah. about that. But no, too late. But also, the best part about Italian McDonald's is that they serve beer. Say to bring to an inboard immediately at the boarding gate to turn to six. How about you? Thank you. Okay. Seven and four, please. We're at the airport and we're at a gelato place because Joshua has been wanting this the whole time we're here. And so far, uh, every time I've been in Italy, which is two times, this is the second time, <laughs> uh, I always get my gelato at the airport. <laughs> It we never have time good. to go. So, so maybe it, maybe we get no mom and pop, but this mm. is still really good. It's yeah. Very good. And he it's got just chili chocolate. I mean, yeah. Pepperoncino. <laughs> mm. It's dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. The chili comes in after you swallow. It's not reduced. When you swallow, it'll burn. Oh. Your yeah. That's good. Touchdown Paris. Right now we're looking for the rare trains because those trains are what gets us out of the airport area to what do you call it? The center? The city center or something? Central, Central Paris. Yeah. Um, Unlike yeah. Milan, where Uber prices were crazy, it was 150 euro from the airport to our hotel. Here it's like no, no, 40 no, no, no. euro. Yeah. yeah? 40 euro to an Airbnb. But the rare train, one way would be 10 euro. So, we're doing that.
Later. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what my surprise is. Okay. Remember when we went to Korea and you were like, pack your stuff, bring your camera. We're sure. gonna go do something and it's yeah. gonna be cool. Yeah. It was vloggable and it was fun. But so. <laughs> but. <laughs> no, no. Okay, it shouldn't be but. <laughs> <laughs> so now I booked the something. If I can find it. Wait, it's hard, huh? It's hard to surprise you while I'm trying to look for it. Also, the camera's very close to my face. <laughs> okay, you have to vlog yourself getting surprised. Alright. Ooh, that's smart! <laughs> okay, wait, I have to find it, though. So, I, I... I'm trying to be better at the surprise thing, babe. You're the first person I've surprised. <laughs> And this entire it. time you have been trying to say, I want to tell you, 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 I want to tell you. You're terrible at surprises. It's a thought that counts, right? Well, of course. All right, I'm not yawning because I'm bored. I'm yawning because I'm tired. Okay, okay. This was actually a suggestion from the former ambassador to France of the Philippines. Okay, I don't know why I pulled up the wrong video. I don't know how. Which one. Great job. We'll get there, wait. Oh. They kind of low battery on this uh, GoPro. Oh my gosh! We're going to an interactive light museum. That looks really cool. Gustav Klimt. Klimt, I don't know how to say his name, but like he was one of the fathers of a French art movement, yeah. which gave way eventually to abstract Picasso. So these are all lights. These are all lights. Those are screens. So you get to go, and it's interactive. How, how interactive? What do you mean by interactive? I'm not even sure yet because a lot of their videos are like blah 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 but like it's so pretty. I think it's interactive in a way that it moves. Mm -hmm. Like it's not like just a projection. Okay, so this is Klimt. Klimt. Klimt, yeah. Nice. Well, thank you, babe. That's awesome. Are you excited? Yeah, it's very techy. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I was just like, it, I, was, I was surprised. So it's pretty new, so not a lot of people are going and it's, it's one... It's... I don't know, I was excited. <laughs> awesome, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be very... You're right, it's gonna be yeah. very vlogging. There's gonna yeah. be good lighting everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, it's just... I feel like I might cry. Because I'm looking at the video and I'm like, it's so pretty. Yeah. Right? It's, it's just a... It's a different museum experience. And it's right up our alley because it's like tech and projections and mm -hmm. stuff, so... Alright, cool. I hope we got all that. <laughs> hope so. Alright, we can go.